Hey everyone, Marix here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one I'm going to be doing the tours with Champa. Uh, five star bronze, not max levels, no strap. Um, he does have a strap equipped, let's actually look at that. Uh, it's 10% gem damage uh, and the this plate, but I won't be using a moveset that takes advantage of the glowing phantom. <clears throat> We're going to use the fairy tale ending finisher 11 MP, deal 80k damage and make 7 silence gems into black. Neckbreaker 30k damage, choose 8 gems to make into silence. And the Project Champa 33k damage and choose 4 gems to make into green. Now, the old Champa setup uh, was these moves, but the silence gem damage is so low, it's just not going to do enough for us at all. Um, and it doesn't work very well without a strap. So this is going to be a strapless build. Uh, Entourage, Gable for finisher damage. If you don't have Gable, you can also use Bailey. Nakamura for flat black gems. Um, Molly Holly for flat silence gems. And then Zombie Edge for flat black gems. If you don't have any of these, you can substitute Santa Hogan for one of those two. Um, you could also do like flat green gems for the chews. Um, green is it's escaping me right off the top of my head. Uh, Showboat Lex. Um, you could generate, um, you could do finisher damage, etc. <clears throat> the goal here is just to have a bunch of flat damage um, since we don't have a strap, whether it's move damage or gem. So that's the idea behind this. And then it recycles. Lashley, we're going to go against first. Uh, I haven't played against him yet, and then we're going to try LA Knight and see how that goes and see if this will beat LA Knight. I'm using uh, black MP down here because he's got triple black. Uh, choose greens instead of MP up. You could use either. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to need these. And then uh, health steal uh, as well, just in case, because I have a bunch of them. All right. Let's get out here and see how this goes. New promises. If you can set up a cascade easily, like say here, uh, no reason not to, really, that I can think of. So we're choosing one more silence than we are making. So make sure and keep that into account and put at least one on a black gem. Uh, other than that, we'll do that wild card and then... Um, let's do a real break here. So it recycles pretty easily. Uh, about, depending on how it goes, 500k. Yeah, 576k a cycle. So Lashley's going to take two cycles. If he doesn't get a black match, shouldn't really be a problem. Again, let's set up a cascade there. Why not? And then just do a match here. Ooh. Lots of cascade. It is a Merix video. A row break there. We'll cascade that. That'll connect all of that. Uh, uh, actually, that's going to cascade those. Let's row break that and get an extra black gem there and there. Like so, Let's see if I figured this right. Might put them down right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, I actually think this moves that. Uh, interestingly enough, is pretty cool, and it's just not great, right? <clears throat> but it recycles. It's got decent damage on a finisher. Back in the day, it was a lot. Um, I just feel like it's going to work better than his old traditional quote-unquote set. So let's see what LA Knight's got going on. Uh, a little bit worried here. Oh, of course. He's got the move damage. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Well, we need red down. That's not in question. We're going to want yellow just in case he gets there. 
Uh, so this is going to require a prop every time he, um, to start, I would imagine. Uh, cause once he goes down that path, we're done like dinner. I, boy, this is a rough one. Um... Not the biggest fan of this one. Also, not as much joy for the Cascades here, or any at all. Oh, let's just do some stuff for later. Let's oh, let's do a wild card here. No break there. Good news is we're recycling. Does he not have a strap? How did he not... Seemed like he was struggling to kick out. Alright, that's interesting. Oh, because he's a showboat and he's not six star. Alright, we're going to be fine. I was worried for nothing. We're going to be fine. Uh, we need two, three matches to load the green. Okay. What was I worried about? Oh, let's do... Or... This one is not as good. It's our four. Let's do that. Okay, yeah, that time he kicked right out. All right. Keeps getting those reds, too. Alright. See what we can do about that. I don't know... I was worried about that. It's fine. Camp math good early there, apparently. Should have paid more attention to that. That's bad gameplay by me. However, this should be a sizable pin. We need one on a black gem. Right on out. Oh, just cascade the whole freaking board. With our no health. I want to try and keep the black gems on the board. Like so. Oh, we're getting down there. <clears throat> Two, three matches this time. Not doing that again. Okay. Maybe this will do it, question mark? One, two, there you go. So there you go, guys. Really not too bad. Honestly, didn't have to use that many props. Didn't have to try multiple times. Uh, so that's your matches with Champa. I think this moveset is the way to go um, for these. Worked fine. Again, alternatively, you could use Shobo Bailey instead of Gable, Santa Hogan in these. Um, hopefully you have at least one of the two for the flat gems. If not, 
Uh, you could do like red MP reduction and save yourself a prop or something like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and share for more useful content like this. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there. Can you believe back in the day I marked out for Champa? It was a showdown event. I went huge. I was so excited to get him. Uh, I was going to use him. He was my go-to tech for a long time. And now, boy, age has not been kind to him.